actual cinema in Phoenix. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Big fans downstairs, and I don't know if the label's going to show up there. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Bro. Huh? And today? We just closed. Alright, what's up, everybody? This will be the end of the episode. Oh, my just... Hey, what's up, everybody? We kind of actually does it so he Then, screw up. Because he filmed the one in me. What's up, everybody? Big Parallax. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Big size. So, yeah. Everybody, Big Panda 2007 here, and today we're at this abandoned Arby's in Mesa slash Tempe, Arizona. So this location closed last year in December because of reasons, and this location has never been open. And if you walk up here, that's right, the location is no longer open. I don't know if I'm gonna get that or not. Probably not because look. Oh man, that thing is about to stick. That thing is locked. So there's no way we are not checking the inside, although it's closed, but still. <laughs> there's nothing in it because it's all gutted out. Stupid people like to make stupid inquiries about it. And uh, oh my god. Okay, that only leads to the electronic room, unfortunately. That's kind of stupid and messed up. Now right here, this is where the drive through would be back then. Now I never seen any abandoned Arby's once on my YouTube channel, although I started in 2020, but if you guys don't know, I started, I started YouTube and I saw the first abandoned Arby's in Peoria and Thunderbird, Arizona. Although I did the one with the hookahs, but hold on. That thing is going with me because, oh, there we go. All right, that takes care of it. And that location closed, those two closed in 2019 for unknown reasons. But anyway, so, but yeah, guys, but I'm sure one, of, like, I saw an Instagram photo on, on A to Z, hold on, on A to Z Retail, and he said it may be a Fazoli's real soon. Hold on. That is not opening, so we ain't checking the back. Nope. Now, it kind of gave me a, a commotion about this location. <laughs> yeah. There, there's the drive through kitchen, as I forgot to mention about it. Yeah. Now the intent almost looks like a like a Dairy Queen at one point, AKA DQ. There's another sign. Yeah, they are closed permanently. So I saw another pic on Daniel showing that another Arby's closed permanently somewhere in Mesa, and I'm planning on to film that. I'm not sure if it's gonna be closed temporarily or permanently, but I'll just say probably both at the same time. <laughs> until like a further notice deed ahead if there's like some stupid reasons on why they closed it. I mean, I'm so confused. I wonder why Arby's keeps closing its doors for no damn reason or damn reason at all. <laughs> yep, guys, you can see that the inside is almost like a Dairy Queen and a Taco Bell for one reason. Forgot to mention this. Tell us what you think and... <laughs> What do I think? What do I think? What you guys are closed, so how will I wait you guys? <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. One more peek before we can I mean before I can hand it over. Yeah guys, like you can really tell that the inside is no more. <laughs> oh my god guys, look, this thing is right now here, look. A same article behind like the like the sprouts that you guys have to check out like I'll show that in the link in the description but the same sign look I can't peel this off unfortunately I don't know why but who cares but anyways you guys so that is going to wrap it up today at this abandoned Arby's in 
Mesa slash Tempe, Arizona. Comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Pinterest, Reddit, Twitch, Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. I My usernames are the same user, Big Panda Rock 2007. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye, guys.